party a lot. Dr. Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklo is joining us on the line. Doc, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Yeah, thank you. Your party, and I don't know whether I should, because of all these issues that have been coming in the past, but I think it's fair to say your party has been struck tonight, hasn't it, by this uh, huge blow thrown by Alan Kwajo Chamantin that he has resigned, or it is not a big deal? Oh, firstly, it is my party. And um, I don't believe anyone that party now can throw me out of the party. Now, let's come to Alan's case. I think um, what happened today, I have predicted about it about a couple of weeks ago. It's not enough. After the special or specialist uh, uh, elections that they had, where five people were picked. And of course, that was when Alam protested or fell. He has been cheated by the number of votes, which this afternoon he enlisted all. Um, and also, later on, came out clearly that uh, he's not going to be part of that uh, group anymore. He follows he is no more going to contest for that number one position. Now, I predicted then that the way I see things going and the way I see Alan behave, he might come out one day as an independent candidate. There were people who didn't believe in that. And that is what we have to do. Now, the question is, is his resignation from the act today significant? And I'll say it is very significant. Significant in the same year. Definitely to have effect on my party. To some extent, to destabilize the party. I know that party very well. And uh, unfortunately to me, that's my own perception. I don't think the leadership of the party at the moment are like the giants we have years back who can see the decision. And they have the personality and the strength to come out openly and say no when it is me. Because as I look at the leadership now, you don't have the men like BJ Darucha anymore. Men like Udo Saiz is not around. Men like Stephen Kriku. Men like Kwame uh, Chien, even though he's still alive, we thank God for that not on the forefront, at the forefront of the party. Well, these, these are people who can say no on principle. We don't have them. The national chairman of the party at the moment cannot say anything. If I put it this way, he can't take a decision without consulting a covert. I know what I'm talking about. So also are the other officers, the secretary and the host. So the position of the party itself is a big worry to me. Now, winning an election as an independent candidate to me will be a huge problem for Allah, a huge hill to climb. Because all the other appeals they have made, particularly to the youth, to me will not work. And the reason is quite simple. He has been with a coup for those governments for almost seven, for seven years. And the time that Alan should have left that party, he didn't. He should have left that government, he didn't. And I've said this on television. I, I believe strongly it was Metro, where I was interviewed by Brigitte Oti. That Alan should have left the party, particularly when he realized the rot going on in the past. And that should 
that automatically turned him into a leader in the future. But he didn't do that. He told me. So as I see it now, there is a saying that history is a prophecy. Um, he might probably give a few votes, but beating the NDC candidate and even getting more votes than whoever presents himself on the MPP side, either Baumia or the other one, uh, uh, Kennedy, Ajipon, or Adainimo, any of them who probably might get that position. Beating any of them would be a huge start, let alone beating the NDC candidate. I mean, you see, we have to be frank and accepting. We have to be frank. You see, if we have had a party or we run our party like it's run in the U.S. or Britain, well, these things will happen. But our party is full of selfishness, incompetence, tribalism, arrogance, and greed. And that is what, what has brought us to where we are today. It wasn't so years back. It was not that all the I wouldn't have been part of it. When people like that, which are talking, you listen, you listen to him. We studied at his feet. I remember very well. Myself and I some more brothers. I know this. We used to go to every Sunday. The man has tremendous experience. You can't have anybody like that today. To so all these young people who one way or the other, jump into the past. They jump into the past because of material gain. Nothing again. Nothing. I won't be surprised when they see that the party is dismantling. They will jump into other parties or jump into, into Alan's camp. These are not people who are convinced. They are not dedicated. You join a party to serve the nation first. That's, that should be your number one interest, not yourself. I didn't benefit anything from MPP. What do I have benefited from MPP? Position or what? Kufo came in, Kufo was somebody I, I supported strongly. But I disagreed with him on principle when he couldn't defeat Rome. So some of us thought, okay, let's try Kufo. Who can speak? To the uh, uh, to 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 true, I was supposed to have a And I remember Kukubako asking me the question when we were going to have the Congress in Kumasi to, to pick a leader. And in Sunyani, I'm sorry. And I said Akufado is a man, and that was what brought the difference between me and Kufu. So when Kufu won for years, I wasn't giving anything. It didn't bother me. It didn't bother me. You follow me? But the young men we have now, that is not their interest. And if our party is going to suffer, it will be because of some of these young men. Thank God we have other young men in the country who have realized what is happening is wrong. And then they are taken to the space. And we know the results ourselves. Talk. So for me, this is how I look at it so far. The party, New Patriotic Party, how should they treat this? Should they possibly try and talk to him behind the scenes, try to get him back? Or you think they should move forward and um, decide and determine that it is over for Alan and there's no point going back to him? And for Alan himself, what does it mean to his political career? No, the party, I, I don't believe the party will make that effort to get back to Alan because if they did, Alan will tell them straight in the face that he's not interested. But well, this is not the first time. Alan was there, I think, in 2008. I don't know what I'm talking about. I can't really remember now. And I remember I, I called B.J. Darocha, the U.S. president, the chairman of the party. And he told me point blank that he's not going to block anybody. They are not going to. So he came back himself. But as I said, the leadership of the party now is not heavy. The people there are not strong. In politics, you need people with personality. 
They are they're not there. They are simply not there. You don't see them. If, if you doubt me, list them up and see which of them at all has a personality. Uh, Alan has a personality, no doubt about that. But you ask yourself, was he given the opportunity? I think he has been cheated on a number of occasions. And that is not fair, I must say. So this time around, I think he's, he's, he, 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 he's fed up. Mm. And when a fellow is fed up, he or she is capable of doing anything at all. And that is the point that Alan has fixed up. Very well. Thank but, you so much. But Yes, you can land. Thank you. Yeah. But okay. whether he can be able to, to come out with the movement he's talking about, and the movement will be formidable because it's talking about young people. We have about almost 76 percent of 23 percent of the voters we have in this thing are young people. But I think the young people will think twice before they get themselves involved with them. Thank you That's so much. Thank you so much, Doc, for your time tonight. And as Dr. Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklo, uh, founding member of the New Patriotic Party, this is